What's going on, people? We got a beautiful day in the Midwest. I'm a little sick. I don't know what I got, cold or something. I didn't go to work for three days. Um, I want to talk today, give you guys a little technical support is regarding this. What you got in my hand, your shifting tower, your shifting stick. This is the isolator. There's a bolt, 716 and, and uh, uh, I mean half inch and 916 sand um, So I had a guy call me and he says my uh, Transmission Make a making a noise when I'm going down the road. It's rattling to the shifter. So I think the train is going bad So what will happen? Uh, you be going down the road and the shifter like you will not jump or anything but will make noise I mean if you drove a truck, you know what I'm talking about and quite often people freak out and they replace transmission or shifting tower or something like that. Which it is possible your train is going bad or your shifting tower bad, whatever. But a lot of times it's this and it kind of gets overlooked. Uh, this is the new one. What happened with this uh, things? Uh, this is a metal, rubber, metal. This rubber gets so brittle, um, is a rock and uh, whatever the vibration and noise the transmission makes this rubber is supposed to be isolated and then you like your shifter should be quiet nice and quiet so <clears throat> if you do have symptom uh buy one of those one of these guys uh they do sell quite a few different options they do sell one where you keep your old jacket let's call this jacket and you buy all this so you have to pound all this out but it's almost impossible to pound it out. You usually rule it, and then you have to burn this rubber off, and it creates a mess. I prefer easiest way to do it, just to buy a blank like this, and then you take your old shifter out, you pull it out to the floor, uh, you cut the flash with it, and then you put your shifter handle, whatever, stick back in, and then do a couple weld tags. But make sure you weld it very well, because uh, I done it before I weld it in and then the weld will crack and the guy going down the road and the, the whole shifter come out I done that once believe it or not so make sure you weld it pretty good but you don't want to get it hot enough so you start melting this uh, rubber and then every time you put this back on stick it in uh, please put an NICs over here because I had some it's almost impossible to take them off and I end up taking them off with the with the shifting tower and it's it's a, such a pain i mean it takes a, an hour job creates to like five ten hour job so use a, a lot of lot of nic's in here on your stab on a shifting tower right there and every time you do inspection uh, majority transmission will have this uh, kind of plug if you start getting oil around it like the oil start coming out um, that's a symptom uh, your bearings in a transmission kind of loose and there's a one shaft I don't know exactly being politically correct it start hitting this plug and this plug will move a little bit out and you have oil so that means your transmission uh, like plan to replace your transmission sooner or later so I think crap I just ripped my jacket I think that's all what I got so I don't know, hopefully this information helps somebody, but a shift isolator is really simple to change and quite often people end up uh, changing the transmissions and then a the problem will come back again and then they're like, what the hell? So keep an eye on it. Thanks for watching all.